I've only ever been depressed twice in my life. <clears throat> and uh, for those of y'all who are new viewers, possibly, uh, my name is Terrence. I go by Poseidon, uh, Poseidon Analysis Online. Uh, or you can call me PA. Damn, yeah, my car is loud. Poseidon Analysis, PA, Terrence, whatever you want to call me. I've only ever been depressed twice in my life. Twice, and that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. You know, there's I know there's people out there who's <laughs> they've been depressed about a hundred times. I can't even imagine. <sighs> wow, I cannot imagine that. There's there's people who go through it, and I don't want to imagine it, but I will prepare for it. And that's what I'm doing right now with this video, in a sense. I'm preparing for it. There's two, t there's two things, at least two things that I've experienced so far. There's two things that can just <sighs> annihilate you, man, in terms of your, your feelings, your thoughts, all of that. Depression and, uh, <sighs> and anxiety. Now, the anxiety stuff, <laughs> I never knew anything about that, anything about going through it or anything like that. Uh, until it was uh, uh, until I met someone. Why am I sugarcoating? Until I met my uh, my girlfriend, uh, my ex girlfriend. She, uh, you know, she dealt with that, deals with it, you know. And uh, it's not like I'm not saying that she, uh, she, I, I got to know it. At first, I, I I seen it firsthand through her. I see, I, I saw her go through it. She's been going through it her entire life. I never went through it until recently, and she's not the reason. In case y'all thinking, oh, she's the reason. Is she the reason you're going through it? No, hell no. She's just the reason I know what it is. It just so happens that coincidentally, I went through it for the first time in my life um you know uh at some time after we uh after we broke up and i gotta say it, it's actually it actually messed me up way more than than the two times that i went through depression in my life the times i went through depression The times I went through depression, I was just, I was just there, you know? I was just, uh, I was sad, but I was still there, you know? Anxiety, it felt like I was somewhere else. Messed up somewhere else. Just, it's hard to explain. Anyway, but the point of this video, though, is the main point of this video is I know there's people out there who've been going through this their entire lives, you know? For me, it just happens that it's happened three moments, you know, three three points in time, and they were all separated, spread out, you know? But the point, uh, my point of bringing you this video is that you can get through it, man. I know you know you can get through it. That's not the point. The point is, is you can get through it by yourself. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, other people can't get you through it or help you, help you get through it. No, of course they can't. What I'm saying is you have the powers to get yourself through it. You have the power to ask yourself, why am I depressed? Why am I going through anxiety? And then you have the answers to get you out of it, to solve the dilemma. Y'all believe in God, right? Most of the, the majority of the world does. If you look it up, the majority of the world believes in God. I do. 
But you know what I started thinking about recently? I don't like the fact that I'm calling... I don't like the fact that I'm I'm calling this creator God. For all I know, the name God isn't real at all. For all I know, mankind just messed it up, butchered his name or its name or whatever. For all I know, God may not even be he may not have ever been a human being for all I know our God was a bunch of particles put together for that, that combined together to form all of us eventually I'm going to start calling God creator because I don't like the fact that I'm possibly using A name that was created by us humans who want to take charge of everything and just just steal everything, you know? Steal the truth, make it into our truth. Take something false and make it into the truth. Create a false, create a truth. We mess up everything, man. Human beings mess up everything. Some, not all. And it's all for gain. At some point, in, at some, it's always about gain. It's always about gain. You're gaining something. When human beings steal, they're gaining something. When human beings lie, they're gaining something. It's always about gain. It's always about gain. Some of it is positive gain. About positive gain. I think the majority of it is not it's negative but anyway you got the powers to get yourself out of that depression and that anxiety our creator let me close this it's gonna go now. our creator we question why our creator put us here with no answers. That's the hardest thing. That's that's the reason. That's a that's a main. That's a main powerful reason of why I was going through anxiety recently. Because we're put here with no answers, man. No kind of answers. I think it's a messed up thing. It's definitely messed up. That's a fact. But. I'm sure our creator has his reasons. A good reason. A logical reason. And heck, maybe even... Maybe it's even a beneficial reason. Reasoning. For us. That obviously we won't know until later. But although he put us here... With no answers. He put us here. With the abilities. To find. Our own answers. And those own answers. I'm not saying. Just because it's our own. It's fake. Or a lie. Or not the truth. I believe that our creator put us here with answers, with qu questions that have answers, but answers that we can't yet know. Answers that we can discover for ourselves. And it could be the truth. It, it could be the truth. We'll know officially when we see our creator. I'm sure when we see our creator, we'll have a list of questions. Because we all do. And we'll have a list of answers 
our own answers that we came up with during our time of living in this reality. And some of those own answers that we have and came up with, our creator will, will tell us some of them are wrong. Some of, them were, some of them were wrong. Here's the truth. He'll tell us some of your answers were true. That's the truth. Good job. You nailed it. But we can find answers. And those answers will get you out of the funk that you're in, that you will be in. Because it's a sad truth, but I think that we're all at some point, all, at, I don't care if you're a celebrity, I don't care if you're famous, I don't care what kind of status you have in life. We're all going to go through it, man. If we haven't already, and if we have, we're still going to go through it at some point. Maybe a little, maybe a lot. It may last long. It may not last a long time. It may be a short time. But we'll go through it. Because the world is a scary place. That's why we'll go through it. The world is a sad place. It can be a sad place. What I'm saying is we got the answers for everything, man. We got the answers to make us happy. We got the answers to make us wealthy. We got the answers to get us out of a funk that in the moment we think is impossible to get out of. We got the answers, man. That's the first one, y'all. Yeah. My name is Terrence. You can call me Poseidon Analysis. Or you can call me PA. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.